Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're looking at a holster manufactured by Ivory Holsters. This is their Imperial design. It's an inside the waistband 0% cant uh, appendix carry holster manufactured for the Smith & Wesson MMP9C. Now they make many different types of holsters for different weapons, so you can check out their website. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, so we're going to be going over this using our four categories. These are the four categories that we think each holster should accomplish before we purchase it. That includes safety, retention, comfort, and concealability. So let's jump right into it. Uh, safety. Now for a safe holster, we need to make sure it covers the trigger guard completely, and this accomplishes that task. There's no way that a finger or a piece of clothing is going to get in and pull the trigger accidentally. So the ivory holster performs very well for that. Uh, next is retention. Uh, we've tested this for quite a few months at the range, and as you can tell here, it's got an adjustable retention um, screw here. Just your standard Phillips head. It holds very well and we had no problems with retention. We want the gun to be able to be pulled out when it's needed, but not to fall out if you're running or you trip. So overall, it does very well in the retention category. Next up is comfort. Now, as you can tell here, it utilizes a very thin kydex, which actually flexes a little bit, which is outstanding for comfort. Now, it does give a little bit of uh, leeway towards the retention of the firearm, and the retention is pretty good for this holster, but uh, that thin kydex does flex a little bit, so that makes it very comfortable. As we can tell, it's got those rounded edges here, which is also very nice for when you're bending over. And this added strap here gives you a little bit of extra protection, uh, protection from the serrations of the firearm. So if we slide a firearm into it, we can tell that it actually covers uh, those serrations there. Now one thing I don't really like for comfortability is that the sights are actually exposed. So if you lean really far over, you might get poked a little bit and you have the extra um, threat of actually damaging your sights. Now, although that's not a major threat, it's a minor concern, something to think about. Now, next up, we have concealability. When we were wearing this uh, out at the range, we had absolutely zero problems concealing our firearm. We did not see this extra piece of Kydex sticking out because that's up against your skin. So overall, very outstanding system. It meets all four categories. And now we're gonna talk about a few pros and a few cons that don't necessarily fit into a specific category. Okay, so first off, I really like the clip design for the Imperial holster here. Uh, as you can tell, it's got this extra beveled edge here, which allows it to slide very easily onto a uh, belt, but it also allows you to easily lift it and remove the firearm. That way, if you're traveling between working environments where you can't carry a firearm, and you need to take your weapon off, you can easily do so. Uh, it's also adjustable here at the top using Phillips head screwdrivers. Uh, so very simple, easy to use, and functional. Now, one of the cons that we did come across is the thinness of this Kydex. As you can tell, it flexes quite a bit, which is something I'm not a huge fan of, uh, and I was a little bit concerned about when we first got the holster, but overall, we did not see a lack in, of performance because of it. Now, I would be interested to see how this would hold up after several years of use. Uh, there might be a slight issue with these uh, thin kydex holsters, but it also lends to one of the pros, which is that it's very lightweight. Um, because of the thinness of that kydex, you're not going to have any issues with that extra weight in the front of your pants pulling your pants down. So overall, this is an outstanding option, guys. It comes in at, I believe, $55, uh, depending on which firearm you're using. And uh, it meets all four categories and has a lot more pros and cons. Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out.